Warning, this video contains graphic content that may upset others. If you or your friends are offended by cheap audio tricks and edgy people, I suggest you turn on something good like The Incredibles. I hear that has great sound design. And Today, Tyler and his friends embark on an epic quest to expose the Ghost Whispers. What? Oh, not them? What? Wait, there's more? What the fuck? Ghost Adventures. Starting off as an independent film in 2004, it was thrown into the meat grinder, and now we have what we see today. Receiving the famous audio signal from his house, Audio Jungle. Tyler springs into action, ready to fight something that isn't human. That's right, folks. We're dealing with the Travel Channel. <laughs> I, because this is my show, am narrating even though I'm not qualified. Today, me and the gang are going to explore this spooky house. Hey Ghost Riders, it's your boy Tyler here. We're going through and getting ready to explore this house. I hope you guys can see my neck okay. That's all I really want you guys to see. Guys, I think I've found the horrors that await me. Tyler, are you alright? We found some people over here using garage van. We executed them on site. Tyler? Tyler! Oh, fuck this game! This TV show has been one of my lowlights of life lately. I was sitting around brainstorming ideas for a shorter video while my Incredibles review was being worked on, and one of my friends suggested Ghost Adventures. Now before this, the only paranormal show I'd ever seen were the Ghost Whispers, and that was when I was fairly young. I thought to myself, Ghost Adventures? It's 2017 after all. It can't be that bad. Oh believe me, it's that bad. Temperature's dropping. Temperature's just dropping, dude. It just dropped like three degrees. So, without further ado, let's dive into this. Aaron, what's the gun for? I'm gonna skip the preview since it just goes over nothing. The intro is nothing like I've seen before. Take a listen to this. There are things in this world that we will never fully understand. Understand. <laughs> oh man, I'm cracking up at this part alone. Is he trying to make himself sound more badass than he actually is? Pitching yourself down a few semitones and placing it after you speak isn't creepy. creepy. It's just funny to me. So, Zach, sorry man, but you're the least creepy guy I know. Yeah. Which brings me to my first point. Zach, as a narrator of this show, Sure, I get it, man. You created the show and want some recognition for it. But you gotta realize that narrating's not your strong suit. You're very boring, and to me, very funny. You alone turn your show into a laughing stock. How am I supposed to take anything happening in the show seriously when I hear your lifeless voice? As night falls, a medicine woman approaches us out of nowhere and tells us that we need to undergo a Navajo warrior ceremony to be performed the f If you're doing a zombie apocalypse, I could definitely believe you're in character. But this is a ghost show. I'd suggest contacting Mr. Nightmare. He creates his own environments by combining sound effects, noise, and music. Man then proclaimed that he just ran into my dad at the cafe. Cheeky smiles, both gone. The man turned quickly to us and then aggressively wrapped his arms around me. So, narration's off the table. How'd you do on music? Oh man, pretty poor. While I'll admit that you have some nice atmospheric sounds to go along with your fictional stories, the way you imitate Navajo music is just silly. At least, I think you're trying to imitate it. These roads are very well known for Zach Bagans. You have 16 coyotes. A coyote then turns into man. The man and Zach Bagans die. I get that you're trying to create some sort of spooky vibe while relating to Navajo culture, but in general I think that you're just butchering their music. Considering there isn't much in terms of music besides the percussion and a tiny bit of Navajo singing, which is reverberated to sound creepier but I digress, I think we'll be moving on. Usage of sound. How do these guys reinforce the atmosphere they're trying to create? I'll tell you how. By repeating things over and over again hoping it'll invoke the terror. My first example of this would be the usage of glue. 
video. This overused meme needs to die. Giving the impression that you don't have up-to-date equipment doesn't invoke fear. It makes you question the sound budget in your episodes. And don't say it's to give a lost footage vibe because I see you fuckers carrying around big ass mics and high quality cameras. Another example I'd like to point out is the usage of a demonic voice. I had visions. I was twitching. I feel amazing. Amazing. Right now we're in the spirit world. Amazing. Fuck, we can't get out of this car. We're Navajo warriors. As I stated earlier, lowering your voice after something happens doesn't make it scary. It actually becomes hilarious. You're the leader, right? Yes. I want you to say, ha! Right there. Ha! Again. Ha! Again. Ha! Ha! Yeah, I became possessed. Now I'm badass. Let's put some music on this clip so you can see how it becomes very laughable. I want you to say, ha! Right there. Ha! So what, Tyler? The narration's bad, the music isn't that great, they overuse sound effects to feel edgy, at least their sound is consistent, right? Would you talk to me? Would you come next to me? Oh, this is pretty easy to accomplish. Watch. Would you talk to me? Would you come next to me? <laughs> it's pretty easy to just insert a sound effect into an audio recording. It was so weird. Oh, the classic reverse reverberation ghost voice. You mean like this? Ooh, so scary. I like dick. I'd like to point out the drum sounds turn off right here. They were using it to lure the skinwalkers to the cameras. I'm sitting here at the front of the cave, playing this drum chant. You can hear the drums coming from back there all the way through here. I just really... <sighs> Just ask the skinwalker or the- Not only do I find this odd, but if they were actually playing it loud enough inside the cave, the DK on the drums would at least be there. So what can I conclude from this? Could it be... Fake news. And answer me this, how would a scratch be this high quality in a cave? Oh, what was that? What was that? It's clearly a hand scratching on a table and then lightly tapping it. Oh, what was that? Yeah, I don't think these guys know how sound works. All right, to sum it up, the narration is hilariously boring. The edge that Zack gives out is so sharp it could cut his ego with it. The music has poor representation of Navajo culture. The sound design is generic and the effects are overused as hell. And last, but most certainly not least, the sound consistency is so bad it makes me want to kill myself so I can haunt them, then maybe they'll fuck off.